today I am heading off on an overnight solo hike. I'm going to head to Waterfall Valley, uh, which is part of the Overland Track. I am going to go via the horse track today and I will show you as I head along. The beginning part of this track is all boardwalk, which is pretty easy to walk on. Um, and when you start at Roney Creek, they say this is the best place that you might be able to see wombats along here. So keep your eyes peeled. We have come to our first sign. And looks like we're going up this way to the horse track. I am off the boardwalk now, but the track is still really easy to follow. And I have come to a junction. So if you were heading up to Marion's Lookout via Crater Lake, you would continue along up that way. But I'm doing the horse track today, so I'm going to continue this way. I'm doing the horse track today mainly because I haven't done it before, um, and I think it might be a little bit easier to get to Waterfall Valley as opposed to going up Marion's Lookout. Just a track update there's lots of steps, it's quite steep, but it's not too hard. Just another quick track update. Travelling along well, and I've roughly got about 150 metres more of elevation until I get up to the peak. Wish me luck. We're probably a little bit late in the turning of the Fagus season, but it's really nice to still see some colour for here. There is actually a beautiful amount of the deciduous beach through here still, surprisingly. Um, my camera probably isn't showing it very good because I'm filming on my phone um, and it's quite overcast, but it is beautiful. too bad and I will keep showing you along the way. And I have made it to Crater Peak. This way, I will wander up there. Don't feel like we're gonna get much of a view. Unfortunately, not much. On a clear day, I have a feeling this would be quite stunning take you up there too. What a shame. <laughs> I'd like to show you the view, but not this time. Keep heading along the horse track now. And just another track update. Track is still easy to follow, still very overcast, and we're walking along pretty much a flat area at the moment, which is nice. And we have come to the end of the horse track, and now we are joining back onto the overland track, and we're about 10 minutes from Kitchen Hut. So I will show you that when we get there. Again, probably not going to see much. Anyway. And I've made
made it to Kitchen Hut. Give you a look from the front. It's pretty cool. And fit right behind the Kitchen Hut. You have some toilets and the start of the truck of the face track of started to pick up more so apologies if I don't feel much between here and Waterfall Valley but if it's not raining I will show you if it is I will just soldier on even though it's raining it still is just so beautiful and peaceful walking through here another junction which says Waterfall Valley Hut this way one hour okay can't really show you much it's still overcast it's still raining it's a little bit cold but we'll keep going just past the junction there is an emergency shelter uh, this is not to be used to camp in but it can be if you're in an emergency, if you're snowed in, if you're struggling with a bit of hypothermia, well, then here's probably a good place to get warm and stay safe. And what it looks like inside. And I've made it to Waterfall Valley Hut. Um, I didn't feel much between last time I filmed and now because it poured down rain and it was cold so I just walked as quick as I can. I'm going to set up my tent shortly, make a cuppa and then I might do some exploring. It has finally stopped raining for a little bit so I have used that opportunity to set up my tent um, and I've had a cuppa and I might go off and explore now. There's a few waterfalls down this way, so I'm going to see if I can get a bit closer to some of them. And today I am in luck. Pretty excited. I have found Brennigan Falls. I'll get down a little lower to show you a bit better, but it's very cool. waterfall into the video but it's pretty cool I'm not sure that the video is very clear but here we have another waterfall which is cool, it's raining a lot. And here's another really small waterfall that's really cute. And here's another waterfall. Fair bit of water going over that one. Looks pretty cool. I'm not actually sure if there's a way down there. I will look, but I might be on the wrong side. We'll see. is pretty cool. There is a track going down here so I reckon I'll be able to get up close to all of these waterfalls. So after a bit of a look I've come across it.
only see part of it. Glory Falls. This is such an incredible place. And another waterfall. Um, from here, just to show you where I am, that's the Lower Brannigan. There he is, I can see. I might see if there's a way over there and see if we can get a closer look. Okay, I've made my way over this way and I'm getting pretty close to that other waterfall I could see. It's right there. And I think I should be able to get to the base of it. So I'll show you when I get there. So it's a little bit harder to show you a good picture of this waterfall because there's a few trees in the way, but I'll duck down and try to show you. Pretty cool. So I've just realised I must have come onto the pad on the wrong part because I didn't see the upper part of this of Brennigan's Falls on my way down. But that's okay. Seeing it now. Pretty cool view still quite overcast but it's nice to be able to see some of the mountains well that's my exploring done for today I'm going to head back to Waterfall Valley and get out of my wet clothes um, some of that exploring involved wading through the creek so I'm saturated luckily Waterfall Valley hut and where I've done my tent is only 600 meters away so I can get dry, get into my thermals, and have something to eat. I know I said I was done exploring, but just behind the old Waterfall Valley hut, I've noticed there's two little cascade type waterfalls. So I thought I'd better show you, just because they look cute. This is one, not very big, but it's still got a fair amount of water going through it. And this is the other one. Good morning. So I had a really good night, it was toasty and warm. And I've woken up to snow this morning. I'm feeling it's gonna be a cold walk out. So it's snowing lots this morning. It keeps snowing more and more, which will be different to walk in, but I don't think I will video anymore. So I will see you at the end. I know I said I wasn't going to film anymore, but I thought this was a bit cute. <laughs> it's definitely very windy. Just how amazing does it look in the snow? Truly beautiful. It's cleared up a little bit. 
so I thought I would show you a little bit of the view of the lakes down there. Couldn't see anything up top at all. And I'm not too far from Rony Creek now where my car is. made it back to Ronnie Creek. That marks the end of my very first overnight solo hike. <laughs>